Assalamualaikum. Alright, today we're going to learn about the classification of numbers. So we know that we should know that for the numbers, the biggest set is actually a complex number. So we know that this is the set for complex number level by C. Then inside the complex number, or we know we call it as the subset of a complex number, will be a real number. Alright, suppose we have a subset inside C will be a real number means that a real number is a complex number right but a complex number is not necessarily a real number right so under the real number we have a lot of type for the numbers so we can divide the uh, real numbers into two what do we call them? two sets so we call the set for the irrational numbers and another one will be the set for uh, what do we call uh, rational numbers right label by q right so what is a rational number right so let's let's just uh, note make notes here a complex number will be in form of like for example we have uh, 7 plus i this is a complex number right uh, actually a real number is, uh, z z 2 plus 0i so we will have 2 so this is a real number right so that's why a real number is also a complex number all right so now we have that uh, q what is a q all right q is a rational number meaning to say that we can write the number in form of fraction a and b where a and b are rational numbers and b should not be zero for example we have 2 over 3 we can write 2 over 3 so that one will be a rational number so that one is element of q all right this is the element of q all right but there are some numbers that the real numbers there are some real numbers that cannot be written in this form of fraction for example set 2 we cannot write it and uh, in this uh, fraction form therefore it is element of irrational numbers uh, another example is actually the pi we cannot write pi which is 3.14 something because the uh, decimal is endless so we cannot write it in the form of uh, what we call uh, rational number for example if we have 2.1 is it rational or irrational is actually a rational number because 2.1 means that 2 1 over 10 which can be written as 21 over 10 so this is a fraction so it falls under the rational number right so i hope you can make difference between the rational and irrational number now under the rational number right we have the integers right so now we are going to to have the subset inside the rational number so this is called as integer level by z right so the z is the integer integer can be like for example right suppose we have the integer can be negative and positive integers right? so many integers mean negative 3 right we have negative 2 sorry we have negative 2 we have negative 1 we have 0 we have um, 1 we have 2 we have 3 and so on right there are so many elements here for the integers but right um, usually if we write the what do we call the positive integers as z plus and the negative integers as z minus all right so z is for the integers now we are going to narrow down a little bit to the whole number so actually uh, the subset of the integers will be the whole numbers all right so this is the whole numbers so label by w here all right so this is whole number okay all right so this is the whole number but inside the whole number we have the subset of without zero right means the integer without zero right the positive integer without zero will be this part only one two three and so on that one will be a natural number level by n right so basically we know that every number is a complex number uh, because the complex number is the whole set there is the biggest set here and under uh, under what do we call the complex number is the real number and for the real number can be divided into rational number and irrational number inside the rational number we have the z uh, integers all right so under integers we have whole numbers and under whole numbers we have the natural numbers all right so let's look at the concept of the linear inequalities 
so you know that the inequalities with this symbol like this or like this or greater than or equal to this one is less than or equal to all right this one is called greater than this one is less than all right now we have the inequality and we can write the inequality in the interval and also the real number line all right so suppose i want to do to to write the uh, inequality x greater than negative one in the real number line meaning to say that we have the real number here all right so this is the real number so having that negative one in this interval uh, sorry in this uh, real number therefore we have that uh, because it's greater than right it's greater than negative one so you go to but it, the negative one is not included therefore we have a hole here all right so we go this way because it's greater than negative one okay for the interval all right we can see that from it goes from negative one okay from negative one but uh, what do we call negative one is not included therefore we have this uh, bracket all right so negative one comma it goes to this way will be infinity if it goes this way will be negative infinity all right so since it goes to infinity therefore our interval will be negative one to infinity right okay something like this now what if we have the x is less than two all right so let's draw the real number line first so this is two right because it's not included two is not included we have a hole there all right we have a hole right and it goes to the left side because it's less than two so it goes this way it goes to the negative infinity all right so we know that this interval from the negative infinity until two something like that so this one is negative infinity until two two is the uh, the right end of the interval okay why it is a uh, bracket like this because two is not included what if two is included all right so let's see let's say we have x greater than or equal to five all right if we have x is greater than or equal to five all right let's have the real number line first so this is five and then because five is included therefore we have the uh, full circle here all right full dot here all right, okay we have something like this okay it's greater than or equal to five because it's greater than five so it goes this way all right we don't have hole there all right now because five is included right so five is included we use the square bracket all right so we have the from five until infinity all right so we have five is included okay why we have this square bracket because five is included if five is not included therefore we have this type of bracket so we have five infinity okay what if we have this x less than or equal to negative two all right so we have this number line negative two right two negative two is included therefore we have the full full circle there all right therefore we go this way it's from negative infinity until negative two all right so we have the interval which is something like negative infinity until 2 with the square bracket because negative 2 is included but you may question why sir we have something like uh, why do we have something like this one for positive and negative infinity because in this real number line we cannot see what number is that infinity it goes a uh, very big number so that very biggest number uh, can be assumed as uh, you know infinity so usually we don't write uh, we don't write square bracket here right people will laugh at you if you write square bracket for negative infinity because you don't know what number is the negative infinity and positive infinity is right now okay I hope you get the idea suppose we have this uh, interval all right so we have this interval therefore we have something like okay now we have uh, it's between negative one and two so you write negative one you write two okay negative one is not included therefore you have a circle a hole there but two is included therefore you have a full circle at two so it's between these so this is the representation for the number line for this inequality how to write the interval for this one all right so the interval for this one will be written as all right negative one is not included once again so we have the 
normal bracket here. Negative one, all right, comma, up to two. For but for the bracket for two, is it included? Yes, it's included. Therefore, sorry, this one is negative two, right? All right. All right. So because two is included, therefore we have the square bracket, something like this. Okay, uh, that's how you write the interval for this inequality. All right. Suppose we have this inequality x is less than zero union with the x is greater than or equal to two all right so let's draw the number line first so it's less than zero and this one is greater than or equal to two it's less than zero zero is not included therefore we have a hole there but for the x greater than or equal to two because two is included all right it's equal to two therefore we have a full circle there then we go to this way Alright, so how to write the interval for this one? Of course, we have to use the union. Alright, so we know that this for this part, we it is from negative infinity until zero, and from this part, from two until infinity. Zero is not included, therefore we have the circle like this, right? But two is included, therefore we have a square, what we call square bracket. Okay, so that's uh, that's how you write the uh, interval sorry what do we call uh, the uh, interval form all right for this inequality so we have like from negative infinity until zero zero is not included union with from two until infinity so that's how we write the interval form for this inequality okay that's how you write all right and the last one the last one all right now i want to write this uh, what do we call inequality all right so let me move this inequality here i just want to move it here okay better now we want to write it what do we call uh, real number line first all right suppose we have from zero until one and another one will fall all right from zero and one is included we have something like this and it's greater than 4 4 is not included therefore we have a hole there all right so it goes to this way all right something like this all right how to write the inequality here and the interval form all right zero is included therefore we have a square bracket one is it included yes so we have a square bracket union with four four is it included not included therefore we have a normal bracket goes to infinity something like this right so our answer will be for the interval form which is zero to one union with from four until infinity okay so that's how you write the uh, inequality in interval form and also the real number lines right now let's try to use these concepts to solve the and to give the answer for the uh, intervals all right, we satisfy the inequality. Suppose we have, uh, suppose we have these inequalities. So how to solve this one? Of course, we have to bring three to this side, right? So we have two x greater than or equal to one minus three, something like that. So we have two x is greater than or equal to negative two. X is greater than or equal to negatively divided by two. We get negative one. So x greater than or equal to negative one. This is the inequality what about if we want to write the uh, real number line so uh, negative one here is it included yes negative one is included because it, it, it can be equal to negative one all right so it goes to this way because it's greater than negative one so that's the inequality uh, sorry the what do we call real number line but what if, what if we want to write the uh, interval form right so it will be negative one until infinity why do i write square bracket because negative one is included right now for question number two we need to determine the interval which satisfy this uh, equation all right suppose we have uh, sorry not equation this inequality right you can do uh, a lot of ways to do so solve this right you can uh, break out this inequality into two like for example we have the first inequality will be 2x plus 1 right another one will be right meaning to say that you focus on this part first and the second part will be this part okay so we have uh, 2x plus 1 is less than 12 
right and now we solve this one should be n right this one is n all right now we want to solve this one all right so we want to solve all right because i see okay 2x is on this side can i change its position yes i want to write 2x plus 1 7 is it less than or equal to no now it's greater than or equal to the concept is something like okay one is less than two if you change two and one is it two is less than one no it's wrong two is greater than one so it changed all right when you change the position it changed the uh, symbol for the inequality now we want to solve this one we have two x okay we want to bring positive one to the right side so we have 7 minus 1 so 2x is greater than or equal to 6 so x is greater than or equal to 3 now we have another inequality to be solved so we have 2x plus 1 so i want to bring 1 right to the right side so i have 12 minus 1 2x is less than 11 so x is less than 11 over 2 or 5.5 something like that 5.5 eh? okay now I want to write the inequality, the rear number line first, huh? to solve this one. It must satisfy both inequalities because it is end here. Okay, so now we have something like uh, this one from three, this one until eleven over two. Okay, eleven over two is five point five. Now we know that it goes right. It, three is included, so it goes to the right side. What about the next one? That one will be uh, at 11 over 2. It's not included, so it goes this way. Because it end, alright, it is actually end here. So it must satisfy for both, alright? So it, we have to find the, sorry, we have to find the intersection here. So we have to find this, this intersection, right? So what is the answer for this one, right? The intersection is all right. Three, three is included. Yes, on this uh, what do we call number line? Three is included. This one also three is included. Therefore, three is included. So we have three comma eleven over two. This part is included, but this part is not included. Therefore, eleven over two is not included. Right. So eleven over two is not included right because we don't have any point on that 11 over 2 and this part yes but on this no therefore it does not intersect lah. right so we have 11 over 2 which is not on that real number line so if you want to write the real number line which is in the final version will be 3 11 over 2 right 3 is included you go to this 11 over 2 is not included something like this right so it depends on the question if the question asks you to write in interval form then this is the answer if the question asks you to write the real number line form this one is the answer okay now we will we go to example three here determine the inequality which satisfy this uh, uh, the interval which satisfy this inequality again we can do the same thing here right we can do right you can break out into two inequalities so 7 is less than 2 minus x another another one 2 minus x is less than or equal to negative 3. now we solve remember we have the n here right so i want to bring this negative x to the left side so i have positive x is less than 2 minus 7 so x is less than 2 minus 7 is actually negative 5 now we want to solve this one so that one is 2 minus x eh? all right 2 minus x so we want to solve this one all right negative x is less than or equal to i bring 2 to the right side negative 3 minus 2 i have negative x is less than or equal to negative 5 therefore x is it greater than or equal to 5 or less than or equal to 5 is greater than or equal to 5 why suppose like this you you, you use this logic okay you have negative 1 okay sorry negative 1 no. negative 10 is less than negative 2 right if you want to write 10 and 2 which one is less than or which one is greater so of course 10 is greater than 2 so the symbol will be changed 
because you actually multiply negative 1 on both sides of the inequality right so you know that this is the uh, inequality you have here it's less than negative 5 so it goes this way and it's greater than right greater than or equal to 5 so it goes this way is that because we have the operator n here we have to find the intersection between these two um, inequalities but do they have the intersection no they don't have because this part going this way and this part going to this way we don't have the intersection therefore we don't have the answer here no solution no interval all right no interval which satisfy these inequalities no answer right now let's go to for example five uh, example four here okay suppose we have this inequality right this one is easy right you just need to bring the x to the to this side negative one to this side therefore we have 2x minus x okay it's less than or equal to less than or equal to uh, 3 plus 1 okay therefore we have x is less than or equal to 4 okay s is less than or equal to 4 if we want to write the real number line the 4 here all right so i'm sorry 4 should be here so it's included okay because it's included it's full circle there so it, ge it goes this way all right to the left side because it's less than or equal to four okay now uh, all right if you want to write the inequality as the intervals so negative infinity up to four four is included square bracket okay easy now num example number five here we have to break out okay if you want to break out and break out into two inequalities suppose we have x over two no sorry the first part here all right so which is x over 2 is less than or equal to less than or equal to 2x plus 4 and another part which is this part so we have the 2x plus 4 is less than x plus 3 so we know that it's actually end all right now we want to solve this one all right uh, for the left side right so this one the first inequality i want to multiply 2 to to the right side i have something like x sorry x is less than or equal to 4x plus 8 okay so i want to bring that uh, 4 to the left side therefore i have x minus 4x is less than or equal to 8 negative 3x is less than or equal to 8 x is, okay 8 over negative 3 or negative 8 over 3 so what is the symbol will be changed yes because we divide with the negative numbers okay something like this okay so we can write x is greater than or equal to negative 8 over 3 now for the second part here we have this uh, inequality i want to bring x to this side and 4 to this side so we have 2x minus x is less than 3 minus 4 2x minus x is x less than negative 1 now we have two inequalities here all right now we want to write this all right negative 8 over 3 if you use a calculator it's actually negative 2 point something right negative 2 point something so negative 8 over 3 this side and negative 1 in this side now we know that it's greater than or equal to negative 8 over 3 so it goes this way for the second part is less than negative 1 so it goes this way okay so we have to find because we have n here n n n therefore we have to find the intersection so what is the intersection part here all right now we have to write okay suppose i want to write the interval form right is 8 negative 8 over 3 included this part included this part also included therefore it's included negative 8 over 3 comma negative 1 is it included All right so this part is not included this part included so 
at negative 1 this one does not have the point but this one have so they don't intersect therefore we have negative 1 which is not included right written in this way hence we can write the final interval right that one is not final eh? you have to write the final one if you have to write the uh, in uh, sorry do the real number line so negative 8 over 3 included up to negative 1 not included something like this okay now uh, suppose we have this equation you can break out into uh, two inequalities right so again I just consider this part so we have 3x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 minus x another one which is this part right so we have 2 minus x is less than 2x minus 7 now we have that all right i want to bring negative x to this side and 1 to this side i have 3x plus x is less than or equal to 2 minus 1 i have 4x here is less than or equal to 1 therefore x is less than or equal to 1 over 4 for the second one we know that this one should be n n right remember it's n here okay okay if i want to bring negative 2 to this side and 2 to this side okay right so i have negative x minus 2x less than negative 7 minus 2 okay now we solve negative 3x is less than negative 9 i want to have x with negative 9 with negative 3 we want to bring this negative 3 to the right side we divide it so when we divide with the negative number the inequality will change so x is actually greater than 3 right negative 9 divided by negative 3 will be 3 so we have to write the inequalities here suppose we have 1 over 4 in this side and 3 on this side it's greater than 3 so it's something like this negative uh, sorry it's less than or equal to 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 should be included that's why it full circle here is there any intersection points no so if we have no intersection points we have no solution right no solution for this one okay now for example 7 right suppose we have this one again we want to break out into two inequalities we consider the first part here will be negative x plus 4 is less than or equal to x over 5 minus 1 and the second part will be this one so we have x over 5 minus 1 is less than 6 plus 3x and we have the n here okay now you want to solve this one right to to make it to to remove the fractions we have to multiply five with each term yeah. right again this one also multiply with each term so i want to have negative five x sorry i'll have negative five x uh oh okay i have negative five x okay plus 20 is less than or equal to x minus 5 x minus 5 now i want to bring x to this side and 20 to this side therefore i have negative 5x minus x is less than or equal to negative 5 minus 20 then we simplify negative 6x is less than negative 25 therefore x is greater than or equal to negative 25 divided by negative 6 so we have x is greater than or equal to 25 over 6 which is 4 point something right now for the second one we have the x minus 5 is less than 6 multiplied by 30 all right plus with 15x so i want to bring the i want to change the position right the position for the inequality i have 30 plus 15x all right 30 plus 15x is greater than oh my god it's greater than x minus 5 
Therefore, I have something like okay. I want to bring x to this side and thirty to this side. Therefore, I have fifteen x minus x is greater than negative five minus thirty. Okay, something like this. So fourteen x we solve this one is greater than negative thirty five. Therefore, x is greater than negative thirty five over fourteen. So we have this solution now. Again, okay, because it is actually end here, All right? So we have right. Let's say negative thirty five over fourteen on this side because it's a negative number and this one a positive number, which is twenty five over six. So for the twenty five over six is included and it goes to the right side. For the second part, which is negative 35 over 14 so it goes this way but it's not included so it goes this way where is the intersection part so of course the intersection part would be all right this way mm -hmm. but is 25 over 6 included all right so 25 over 6 included or not this part has the point 25 over 6 so this one also have the point 25 over 6 therefore our final answer will be 25 over 6 up to infinity okay it goes to the uh, right side here and if we want to draw the real number line for the final answer which is 25 over 6 and it's included so it goes this way so this is the final answer okay okay now last one let's solve this example it here suppose we have this all right now i want to break into two parts the first part which is this one so i have something like 2x minus 6 is less than 3x minus 5 the second part will be this way so we have 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 1 minus x therefore all right we want to solve this one so we have 2x minus 3x is less than negative 5 plus 6 okay I have negative x is less than what we call uh, 1 but x is greater than or equal to negative 1 I multiply with negative number therefore the symbol for the inequality will change we have n here right we have to solve the second part here so we have something like 3x plus x which we less than or equal to negative 1 plus 5 so we have 4x which is less than or equal to 4 so x is less than or equal to 1 so we have these two inequalities we want to find the intersection let's draw negative 1 and 1 it's greater than 1 but it's not included it goes this way it's less than or equal to 1 and one is included it goes this way we have to find the intersection of course this part here right but we have to check the endpoints here is negative one included this part has this part does not have therefore negative one is not included what about this one one included on this line and one also included here so one is included so we have the interval which is in this form therefore our final inequality will be negative 1 1 so negative 1 is not included it goes to the 1 which is included here so this is the final answer for this one so i hope you get the idea how to solve the inequalities in the next video we'll learn how to solve the inequalities which involve the fraction and also the quadratic types of inequalities thank you for watching